Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, in whichever part of the world that you are, and welcome to Learner Minds. We are pleased to present our final episode of our initiative in the month of March on the occasion of International Women's Day, hashtag Shakti. Age. Age is just a number. We have heard so many times that, uh, you know, it is considered to be rude whenever you ask a woman what is her age or something like that. But today, we are going to present a story. We are going to review a movie which actually depicts this fact that yes, age is just a number. So, we are going to present or review the movie called Saan Ki Aak, which released in the year 2019, based on the life of late Chandro Tomar and Prakashi Tomar, who are from Uttar Pradesh from a part called Bakpan. So this is uh, their true story. Of course, a few uh, things have been changed, or somewhere they have taken, uh, they have made some changes which are relevant uh, for the movie. But we are going to review this movie and talk about uh, this amazing journey of late Chandra Toma and Prakashi Toma, and they started their journey in their late 60s as shooters. So what happened? What was the journey all about? Uh, this is exactly what we are going to talk. So today, I also request you that please like and share this video as much as you can in your network and do subscribe Learnamites. Let's begin. The movie San Ke Aak, which literally means the bullseye, released in the year 2019. The movie was uh, directed by a gentleman called Tushar Hiranandani. The producer was Anurag Kashyap and Nidhi Parman. And in the roles of uh, Chandra Tomar and Prakashi Tomar. So, in the role of uh, Chandra Tomar, it was uh, the young Bhumi Pednekar, one of the, uh, I mean, considered to be a good actress. And in the role of Prakashi Tomar, it was uh, Tapsi Parman. Apart from it, uh, one of the most important characters in the movie, which was uh, name of the character was Ratan Singh Tomar, was played by a famous uh, producer director Prakash Jha, and uh, another very important role, significant role in the movie called Dr. Yashpal, was played by Vineet Kumar Singh. So this is as far as uh, the star cast of the movie goes. Now, if we look at uh, what was the story, the story was very simple. In a typical male-dominated joint family. There are these uh, two women, Chandra Tomar and Prakashi Tomar. So it's a joint family and both of them are sisters-in-law. Now, uh, Chandra is uh, someone who is a dreamer, who wants to see what happens outside the village. What does the city life look like and things like that. Prakashi is uh, someone who concurs with the dream, with the thought process of Chandra and also loves uh, to take a look at what's happening around. Unfortunately, uh, the patriarch of the family, Ratan Singh Tomar, never allows them. He said that the only job that the women should be confined to is Chula and Chauka. Now, amidst all this, one fine day, uh, a youngster uh, who has been to Delhi uh, walks into their house and his uh, name is Dr. Yashpal. He tells them that he is going to start a shooting academy. And he asks the patriarch and the people around, that uh, why don't you send your daughters there because I'm going to start a shooting academy. Now both these uh, dadis, that is Chandra Dadi and Prakashi Dadi, throughout the film, they are they have been shown whenever they are in their house with a ghungan. I mean that's what uh, the thing is. So both uh, the dadis think about it. Chandra Dadi, in fact, takes uh, her granddaughter Shefali to the shooting range and makes sure that no one comes to know about it. So she literally hides. Uh, behind the Ghungat and also takes her and takes the risk of taking Shefali to the shooting range. Now Shefali, uh, when she sees the shooting range for the very first time, uh, she finds it a little difficult to pick up the gun and shoot. Uh, but somehow Chandra uh, Dadi builds that confidence. She just picks up the gun and the very first bullet that she hits goes for a bull's eye. Now Dr. Yashpal, who is the coach who has started the academy, is quite amazed. He tries to understand that, how did you go about it? How did you do it? Chandra Dadi says, Usme kya hai? And she again picks up the gun and again 
fires yet another shot and again it goes for the bullseye or what uh, Chandru Dadi calls as Sankeyak. So uh, Dr. Yashpal says that why don't you two, why don't you basically, why don't you also learn the sport? And Chandru Dadi just runs away. She says ki pagla ho gaya hai kya? And she goes back home. The next day she says I'm not going and she sends her sister-in-law Prakashi Dari along with Shefali and Prakashi Dadi's daughter Seema. So this time when Prakashi Dadi goes there, even she hits the bullseye. Now this is where uh, Yashpal convinces both these sisters-in-law who are very close to each other. He says that even you need to learn the sport because there is a, an opportunity, there is a possibility that you can learn this sport even at this age and you guys are really fantastic, you guys are amazing. Both of you can rock. So somehow uh, they decide to learn the sport and they eventually learn uh, the sport and they participate in a local competition in Chandigarh now uh, which is uh, meant for adults now the person who has been winning the competition is a gentleman called IG Jaydev and uh, they beat uh, him hands down now one thing which uh, Yashpal asks them that they are typically dressed in the traditional rural outfit which is basically a ghagra a kind of a salwar or a kind of a skirt and along with that a ghongat so Yashpal says that uh, Daddy, it will be convenient if you wear, uh, you know, uh, the, the typical clothes, you know, a, a, a track pant and a t-shirt or something like that. So Daddy says, uh, no, it's not possible. He said, our ghagra is good. So this was the typical style where she is holding a gun in one hand and she keeps the other hand out here in the pocket of her ghagra. This uh, scene, this image has become extremely popular. So if you Google Chandro Tomar, Prakashi Tomar, you will come across uh, this image, which is amazing, which is brilliant. So they land up in Chandigarh. Of course, uh, they tell, they cook up all kinds of stories at their home because otherwise the men won't allow them to step outside the home because uh, they don't want their women to work and they are extremely conservative. So they manage, they manage to skip through uh, they reach the competition. Initially, people start laughing, looking at their clothes. But later on, when they hit the bullseye or what they call as the San Kiyak, uh, that is where people give them a thundering applause, a standing ovation. In fact, they've shown that there is a character that is uh, one of the shooters. Uh, she is the queen of Alvar and she also becomes a fan of these two dadis. And likewise, just by telling lies at their home, they keep on uh, winning competitions after competitions and they became uh, every time when they come back home with their medals, they uh, put it in a kind of a bin or a trunk and that is where they store all their medals. Now somehow one fine day, uh, one of the sons uh, finds it out that there are medals lying there and he asks them that who has won all these medals. They tell them that yes, we have won. And uh, Chandru Dadi in fact takes out the gun and says that if you tell anyone at home, I'll shoot you. So somehow they manage uh, this whole incident. Now the family comes to know about all this when the two daughters Seema and Shefali who are also now being trained at Dr. Yash, Yashpal's academy they are selected for national training and now uh, they have no choice but to tell the family. The patriarch uh, Ratan Singh is extremely against it and he says ki ye na kabhi hua hai na kabhi hoga. And then these uh, both these dadis they have to put up uh, this fight. And in the end, eventually, the patriarch has no option but to agree. And uh, finally, they've shown that towards the end of the movie that uh, Seema ends up winning a world championship in shooting. Overall, if you see uh, this movie, if you look at the learnings of this movie or the overall screenplay of this movie, you get a feel of positivity. You get these vibes uh, that someone is really pushing themselves hard. Now, if I have to look at uh, the learnings of the movie, so one of the learnings uh, from the movie is uh, dedication. So they are dedicated, uh, they have made this uh, choice and that too at the age of 65. They just keep on practicing very hard. The second learning which uh, I can think of is of course passion. There is this passion that one day I will sit in Hawaii one day I will suffer in the world. One day I In fact, Chandro Dadi is uh, also very curious and very eager to learn English as well. So, uh, you know, one of uh, her grandsons tells her uh, that the, fame, the the only line which uh, you should always say in English is, I am fool. 
later on when she uh, starts participating in all these uh, competitions uh, she realizes that uh, uh, you know the grandson has actually made her a fool and she actually starts learning english so the third learning apart from dedication and passion of course was uh, you know the the grit or uh, that fearlessness and uh, you know just like uh, to make sure fighting against all odds so just to make sure that uh, you know they they can participate in competitions they go up to any extent they do all sorts of things what we call typically in the indian language as jugad so they do, so they do all sorts of jugad to participate in competitions and literally win the championships the fourth learning and this is actually based on a line which has been said by chandra tomar late chandra tomar god bless her soul she passed away in 2021 due to covid so the line which he says ki tan buddha hota hai man nahi hota which means age is just a number so it has got nothing to do with your ability your focus has got nothing to do with what you can eventually achieve and at whatever age and yes of course uh, the last and the final one which i thought since we are celebrating hashtag #shakti i think this was absolutely a fitting tribute to hashtag #shakti it was their shakti it is their determination and grit as i mentioned earlier which makes them take up a sport which so far uh, is male dominated in fact in the area where they have been uh, i mean where they used to live that is the bagpat area in uttar pradesh it's supposed to be uh, a place where uh, forget about uh, even a basic job apart from chula chauka is not allowed i mean women are not allowed so i think true spirit of hashtag #shakti or #shakti or women empowerment is what uh, this learning was all about if you look at uh, the trivia of uh, bhumi padnekar and uh, tapsi pannu both of them won the best actress award uh, for critics uh, in the critics uh, category both film fair and star screen awards apart from it i think it's it's a salute to the real uh, dadis uh, that is revolver uh, dadi and shooter dadi so revolver dadi was uh, prakashi tomar and shooter dadi was late chandra tomar and in uh, their interviews uh, they always used to talk about this that we started uh, play we started shooting just for fun and eventually we never realized that how this sport became our passion and one of their dreams was some member from the tomar family should represent india which exactly happened in 2010 seema tomar won a uh, international competition in shooting a world championship in shooting somewhere in 2010 or 12 so i think uh, this is what uh, prakashi tomar's life and chandra tomar's life has been shown about uh, the movie is a very good watch you can watch the movie on z5 and couple of other ott platforms please let us know if you know of any such women like chandra dadi and prakashi dadi till then let's salute and celebrate women power and remember hashtag #shakti so thank you so much for watching this video please like and share this video as much as you can and do subscribe the learner minds channel please press the bell icon for weekly notifications thank you so much